In news overseas, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is set to visit the United States in his first known trip outside the country since Russia's invasion began. In the meantime, Taliban rulers ban women from private and public universities in the latest crackdown on women's rights and freedoms. The details of these stories in tonight's Global News Roundup by Meg Luna. Female students in Afghanistan are now banned from attending universities after the Taliban government announced the implementation of its strict interpretation of Islamic law or Sharia. Private and public universities were told to impose the ban as soon as possible. Girls in Afghanistan were recently banned from middle school, high school, even parks, gyms, and from most jobs. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is set to visit Washington, D.C. on Wednesday for a summit with his U.S. counterpart, Joe Biden. Zelensky is also expected to address the U.S. Congress in his first known trip outside Ukraine since Russia invaded his country in February. Zelensky said the visit is aimed at strengthening resilience and defense capabilities of Ukraine with the help of the U.S. At least two people died while almost a dozen injured after a powerful magnitude 6.4 earthquake struck California before dawn on Tuesday. Several homes, buildings, roads and water systems were damaged while tens of thousands of people are without power. According to local reports, the tremor occurred at 2.34 a.m. local time near Ferndale City and was followed by about 80 aftershocks. A photo gallery by Argentine footballer Lionel Messi has become the most liked post on Instagram with more than 68 million likes and counting. The photo showed Messi and other players of the Argentina team celebrating their 2022 World Cup win. Before Messi's post, the most liked photo on Instagram was an ordinary brown egg posted in 2019 with over 57 million likes. Meanwhile, thousands of Argentinian fans flooded the streets of Buenos Aires to cheer the country. World Cup winning team. Crowds grew so enormous they brought the bus to a standstill and forced the players to abandon the vehicle and get on helicopters. Some fans continued celebrating in the streets though. Meg Luna for The Nation.